So what's the easiest way to start using an IPvo presenter? Well, you already know you can touch your screen and use it to start controlling objects, holding an object to become a right click, etc. But maybe you want to go a little bit further. What you're going to want to do is use a tool called the IPvo annotator. It should already be in your start button. Scroll down to the eyes to IPvo and open up annotator. Once annotator opens, you'll see a tiny little toolbar. This toolbar, you can click on it and move it anywhere you need to. The down arrow will just minimize it. Let's start with the pens. So I'm going to click on the pen. You'll notice I have a pen here. If I click the arrow underneath it, I have colors. I can set, the, set it to translucent. I can set my thickness. I can set it to different kinds of pens, or I can set it to disappearing ink. Disappearing ink will let me set the number of seconds. That's great for using it for notes or something that you or maybe are, are solving a problem. You had different steps, but you need those steps to kind of disappear to give you your screen back. You can set that disappearing ink level. The next one down is your highlighter. Then you have some shapes. You have a stamping tool, your eraser. This one's really important. This is your cursor because sometimes you get stuck in pen mode and before you know it, you're annotating on everything. So make sure you go back and click that cursor. And then you also have your toolbox. Your toolbox is going to give you some math tools, real simple math tools. And it's also going to give you a chance to use a zooming tool and a spotlighting tool. So here's what the spotlight tool looks like. On the left side, I can choose to darken everything around it. I can choose to enlarge that spotlight, or I can make the spotlight a square instead of a circle. If I go back to my toolbox, I also have that magnifying tool. Again, same way. The only option here, though, is to actually magnify. And then the last thing I want to draw your attention to with the annotator, really super simple tool, but something most of us are looking for. You just need something to write on sometimes. If you click this white sheet of paper down here with one pen, it will give you just a white sheet of paper, and you can start annotating on this. The nice thing is in the bottom, you'll have a chance to save your annotations so you can start dropping them into files or posting them to Google Classroom, etc.